Tim Cole. I'm the owner of Austin Reptile Service. I'm also the vice president for the Austin Herpetological Society. Uh, I do educational programs with reptiles. I do uh, go out to schools, have training animal control officers. I do snake calls and birthday parties, scout programs, just about anything to do with reptiles and amphibians. I also supply reptiles and amphibians for movies. Um, I've got a website to help people identify our native snakes found in Central Texas and it's uh, real easy to use because we use the pattern of the snake. So I'm going to talk about Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. Uh, they are the most widespread common rattlesnake throughout most of Texas, not all of Texas. And just like any other wild animal, they want to be left alone. They don't want to have interactions with people. And the problem people have is when they do find them, a lot of people don't turn around and walk away, which is all you have to do. I've been catching and observing rattlesnakes for 40 years. And one thing I've noticed is that when they're sitting still and camouflaged and not moving, when they're singing, they don't rattle. They don't want to announce their presence. But if they're on the move or if they're molested somehow, then they're going to rattle and give a warning. But once again, at this point, they're trying to get away from you. They're not coming after you. They're trying to get away. And a lot of people make the mistake of not allowing them to leave. They harass them. They do stupid things with them. And then when they get bit, they blame the snake. So this is a timber rattlesnake that came in on a confiscation back in 2003. Uh, in Texas, they are a protected species. Their numbers are dwindling, mainly because of habitat. They are a primarily woodland animal. Uh, they do a lot of good, of course, in feeding on rodents. And we know there's a lot of diseases that rodents can spread. There's also issues with rodents causing damage to farmers' crops. As far as this particular species, they're actually pretty mellow, fairly laid back compared to other species of rattlesnakes. It takes quite a bit to aggravate them and to get them defensive. So I've been catching snakes for over 50 years. And I hear stories all the time. Oh, I've been chased by a snake. And my response is, that is so cool. What happened when you changed direction? They're like, what? I've never been chased by a snake. And it's me going after them, not them going after me. I've caught dozens and dozens of species of snakes, including venomous species. I've never, ever had a snake go after me. It's always me going after them. They want to be left alone. They're wild animals. We're a lot bigger than they are. They are actually afraid of us. We are not a prey item for snakes, so they have no interest in us. But a lot of people just have these preconceived ideas that snakes are out to get us, and they're not. They're wild animals that just want to do what they're here to do. Our Texas rat snake is the most common snake that we have in Austin. And one of the easy ways to identify it is because it's the only large snake we have that climbs and lives up in trees looking for food. Whenever somebody called me up and said, I've got a snake in the tree or in an attic or a birdhouse, I don't need a description. 
the rat snake. It's that simple. Leave it there. Let them do its thing. Even our hognose snake gets a lot of people frightened or scared because their first line of defense is to flare their neck out. It's not a cobra, but that's what they do. They spread their neck, they hiss real loud, throw their head up in the air, basically asking you to go away, find something else to do. If that doesn't work, he's got another trick. He'll roll over on his back, open his mouth, and play dead. That's a snake you can identify by the way it behaves. My main thing is when you see a snake, the metal kind it is, leave it alone. Turn around and walk away. If you've never seen a rattlesnake in your yard and all of a sudden you see one, give some thought to why he might be there. What's the attraction? Do you have a log pile on the ground that has a rodent nest? Do you have a pure beam house that has rodents under the house? All these things need to be looked at. And it's very simple to just spray it with a garden hose. Let him know you don't want him there. That's all it takes, and he'll go back to where he came from.